I don't think Elden Ring really did anything to innovate the Souls formula, like Breath of the Wild did, or like Mario Odyssey did, or like any of these other uh, superior Nintendo games did. Like that doesn't make any sense. I hope you don't mind me grinding in Code Vein because I may have to return to Code Vein at some point, but this time we'll co-op with Emperor Cybot. But before that happens, I had to make a response video of a certain Nintendo fanboy, known as Armin Smith. And on March 20th, he made a video titled, Elden Ring Fails to Impress. Now, apparently, he does not understand why Elden Ring was a huge success, and why it was appealed to many people who prefers a challenge. Trust me, I have yet to beat the game, and I'm currently level 90. Yes, I was that addicted to grinding. So yeah, without further ado, let's respond. Hello everyone, this is Cody Lee of BlackCatBooks.org, author of I the Dragon, who will make full rabbit hole King Theo, Lord Frey, and the upcoming Mouth of the Dragon. With Elden Ring, um, past us, what, what is there to say about the game? Um, it feels like this, this one was a bit muddled, honestly, because I saw a lot of, um, of feedback online that like, oh, this is the same shit, it's, it's the same thing over and over again, like, from software can't innovate. Like, I, I think what, what's happened is that game journalists are praising this game for being, like, a true evolution of the From Software formula, when normies aren't buying into it, and hardcore fans are getting a little bit tired of it. Oh, did you get that? No! Um, Harmon, I don't know if you noticed, but... Hardcore fans of the Dark Souls are not getting tired of playing Elden Ring anytime soon because due to the fact there is a lot to do in Elden Ring, like it's part of the open world games, and compared to the other Souls games, it's probably the easiest Souls title. I don't know if that's true or not because you know I have yet to beat this game, but whatever, it is what it is. But let's just continue. And that's kind of my impression, is that in spite of the user scores, in spite of the sales, in spite of all the hype around it, I don't think Elden Ring really did anything to innovate the Souls formula, like Breath of the Wild did, or like Mario Odyssey did, or like any of these other uh, superior Nintendo games did. <laughs> you serious? Um care to repeat that statement? Because I think I misheard you. Can you repeat that again? I don't think Elden Ring really did anything to innovate the Souls formula, like Breath of the Wild did, or like Mario Odyssey did, or like any of these other uh, superior Nintendo games did. <laughs> Already everyone, Harmon's logic lets all pay attention. So apparently he thinks Elden Ring does not emulate the Souls formula because it's not like Breath of the Wild or Super Mario Odyssey or any superior Nintendo games that has a perfect Souls formula. And I just have one question for you all. Does Breath of the Wild and Super Mario Odyssey count as Soul Slags? If so, let me know in the comment section down below because holy shit, if that were the case, then I'm truly missing out these two fantastic Souls like games like Breath of the Wild or Super Mario Odyssey, according to this guy. The cringe! The cringe! Okay, jokes aside, I highly doubt anyone has labeled both Breath of the Wild and Super Mario Odyssey have better Souls formula than Elden Ring unironically. Maybe if you could provide a video footage or clips or any screenshots that suggest that, 
but otherwise that's highly questionable in all reality. But saying that every Nintendo games have better Souls formula than Elden Ring is just objectively wrong. Trust me, I have the Switch, and the only Nintendo Switch exclusive Souls likes that I could find was Souls Land. And spoiler alert, it looks unfinished. So please, do any research about the Nintendo exclusive Souls likes and the other console Souls likes or the PC Souls likes because I really want to know. Like from software is essentially where I said they were, like before release, is in that they are completely stuck doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again because their audience will not accept anything different. Like, we saw that with Sekiro, and I think we are going to see that with Elden Ring in the future, once the, once the hype starts to die down a little bit. Look, here's We're the thing. Fine. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I'm kind of retarded. Oh, Hardman, Hardman, Hardman. I highly doubt both Elden Ring and Sekiro are going to die out real soon. And even if they are, there's still going to be upcoming Souls-like games in the near future, and people are looking forward to it. Like for example, Black Myth Wukong, baby! And I know what you're all thinking, Blue X, isn't that game only available on both PS5, Xbox Series X, and Steam? Well, normally you'd be correct about that, since I only have a PS4, but you will find out the answer once we're done responding to his video. I, uh, I don't know how far most players are into the game. I don't know how long it is. I don't really know anything about it. I just know I just know that it's uh, Dark Souls 4, essentially. Um, it plays exactly like it. I, I have no interest in, in playing a game like this. I have no interest in it. Uh, I don't like the original Dark Souls. I don't like the sequels. And uh, Elden Ring has done nothing for me. War? Hear me out for a second, Marvin. But maybe, just maybe, that Souls games just isn't your cup of tea. Yeah, that could be a reason. If you don't like these Souls games, that's perfectly fine. I'm not gonna harp on you for that. But don't sit here and tell your audience that Nintendo games have better Souls formula than both Elden Ring and Sekiro, which is objectively not the case. May I repeat myself some more, sir? I, I, I see no reason to even put any amount of uh, time or effort into researching this game or watching Darkseid Bill play it or whatever. Oh, really? If that were the case, then why do you make this video in particular if you have no interest in trying out the game yourself? Okay, I'm gonna explain to you why that argument doesn't hold bars here, and I will be using myself as the example guys, so please bear with me. Let's just say I want to make a review of Uncharted 4 or something, but I did not play the game beforehand, but I still review it anyway, and I basically bash the game like no tomorrow 24-7. Now, my viewers, do you think the audience will like that type of content? If, you, if your answer is no, then you have more common sense. I cannot judge Uncharted 4 because I haven't played it yet, just like you can't judge Elden Rain because you haven't played the damn game yet. Now do you understand why that argument doesn't work? You need to play the game before you actually review it. It's that simple. I did not understand why some people find that concept to grasp here. It's just astounding to me. Because I have better things to do. I have my own games to play. I'm sure you do. Clearly you have more important things to do. Like praising Nintendo like they were fucking religion. <laughs> Countless, countless, countless 
better games, superior games on Nintendo hardware that I would rather be playing. Like I don't, I don't have time for like a casualized Dark Souls experience. Like I don't, I don't have time for open world Souls. Like I have no interest in it. I'm not going to pursue it. Um, I'm never going to buy the game. Okay. Wait a minute, Harmon. Earlier in the video, you said that you don't think Elden Ring really did anything to emulate the Souls formula like Breath of the Wild, Mario Odyssey, or any other superior Nintendo games did. That's what you said earlier in the video, right? But, a few minutes later in that video, you said that you don't know anything about the Dark Souls games, or any of the Souls games for that matter. Not to mention you don't know how long the game lasts. Not to mention you said you have no interest in playing these types of games. Now, if I recall correctly, Breath of the Wild is an open world game. Just like Elden Ring, right? I'm starting to think that there is some inconsistency of your claims because... How can you compare these two games if you never play one or the other? Am I wrong about this, guys? Something tells me you have some explaining to do, Harmon. Uh, I'm done with From Software, and I encourage... I'm not going to tell you to, but I, I'm going to encourage you to stop buying From Software games. You're not cool for playing them. You're not hardcore. Yeah, Dark Souls ain't challenging enough for us. Let's go play Animal Crossing New Horizons, guys. It's way past cool. I can hear you all unsubscribing right now. <laughs> no! It's kind of ironic that a Nintendo fanboy is going to judge us based on how cool or not depending on what type of games we're playing. I'm sorry, but that's just a bit cringe to be honest. And I should know, I did cringe humor for the living. There are more difficult games out there. You need to move away from the Souls formula and embrace something a little bit more challenging. <laughs> You stinky. That is not how it works. Harmon, normally I would agree with you because Souls games are not the only genre of games that are hard as hell to provide a challenge. Hell, there's even classic arcade games that are just as hard. For example, Castlevania games, not to mention the goddamn Gradius games, the one of the classic Konami games. Hell, there's roguelike games that are just as hard, but for different reasons. Like, for example, The Binding of Isaac and Hades, but for very different reasons, just like Gradius and the classic Castlevania games in the classic arcade games are just as hard, but for different reasons than Souls games. Hell, there's even one platformer game in particular that is just as hard, but the challenges are fair, like Cuphead for example, goddammit. But I just have one question for you Hardman. Why do you think both Breath of the Wild and Mario Odyssey has better than Elden Ring when it comes to emulating the Souls formula? You never really answer my question about that predicament. Can you show the gameplay of those two games and try to compare it to Elden Ring? Uh, who am I kidding? This is a Nintendo fanboy. Why do I expect them to do any more research? Embrace Monster Hunter Rise. Embrace like a myriad of superior games on Switch. You do not need from software games in order to find a challenging experience in video games. Oh, wow! That was shit! Well, the video finally ends. What do we learn here today, fellas? Souls games like Elden Ring are not challenging enough, according to our favorite Nintendo fanboy, Harmon Smith. 
and I believe it's time that I announce to you all that I now officially have Steam. So yes, I'll be doing PC gaming for now, and our channel is almost reaching 350 subs. So yeah, if I reach 350, I'll do a let's play of, I don't know, Tunic or something. It's kind of like Legend of Zelda, but you play as an adorable little fox cosplaying as Link. Adorbs. So yeah, I guess that will be enough for today. If you enjoyed this video, if you do, give it a like, subscribe if you're new to my channel, follow me on social media hit the notification bells for my future videos check me out on steam so that way you can see me what kind of games I'd be playing on steam like Duel links or something so yeah with that being said take care now if you excuse me I better ask Emperor Cybot for cooperation of code vein